your girl AJ, the owner of AJ Unique Creations, baby. And I know you looking like, girl, what's in your hand, y'all? This thing is heavy. So I ran to Home Depot. And I was in Home Depot, and I told myself, okay, the customer want a mat. She want a mat with her logo on it. But the thing is, y'all, I do not want to see her and do the painting, the mat. No, honey. Now, it is $2.58. Mailman gonna be coming in a few, so we gotta speed it up just a little bit, a little bit. Hold up, let me look. Yeah, we gotta speed up a little bit. All right, y'all. This is the mat. Okay, this is the doormat. Woo! This thing deep. This is the doormat, you guys. It's huge. So in total, this doormat is. 30 inches by 47 inches. It is 100% polyester. So before I sit here and paint a doormat with five different colors, let's see if we can supplement a doormat, you guys. I haven't did one yet, so let's see how this thing come out. Now, you know that my print is a what? Ecotank 4700 that we converted two, three years ago. Now, that could only print 8.5 by 14. So guess what? Guess what? Guess what now? Guess what? Guess what now? So that means we have to take the design into a silhouette, Photoshop, whatever, slice it down the middle. Literally, you guys are just cutting it down the middle to get two separate pieces or three pieces, whatever, which one you want to do. Now, for me, I just want the logo to go right in the middle. That's it. I don't want the full mat to be done. Just she just want the logo. So we're going to supplement this design. We're going to take it into silhouette, slice it down the middle. I already did that part. Print it out in two different pieces, piece that together. <laughs> this thing moving so heavy. Piece it together, and guess what? I'm using my 15 by 15 heat press, y'all. So let's see how this come out. <laughs> I'm using a 15 by 15 heat press. Now, if I could do this. I need to go ahead and try me an all over shirt, baby. If I can sit here and do this, we're going to try an all over shirt. Let me know if we should try an all over shirt doing the slice method. If we could do this, y'all, comment down below and we're going to try that. Let's go ahead and start because guess what? It's 3 o'clock already. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the website if you see something you like, you guys. You never know, so check it out. But I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you have any questions, please drop it down below. But if you do would like, if you do, if you would like to know, I am using my Eco Tank 4700. I'm using sublimation ink that I did get off of Amazon. I think it's called Printer Jack Ink. And I'm using my 15 by 15 heat press. That's it. I didn't design this file. The customer sent me over her logo and we're just pressing it. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go.
So I did slice this and half. So this is the bottom half and we're going to print out the second half. So now we print out the second half of this and once it's done, I will piece it together and we will press it. Remind you, I'm using a 15 by 15 heat press and I did make this design a 14 by 14 just because I didn't want nothing too small. It is a school mat, but I didn't want it too large either because I feel like when you go into a school, their logo is right in the middle of the mat. Now this mat is from Home Depot. Like I told you, it's from Home Depot. If y'all want to check it out, I did just go there and I kind of looked at materials to see what was polyester and what wasn't because I don't want to paint a mat. It like it's too many colors for me to be painting a mat. So let's see how this come out. This would be our first time. I'm, I, let's just see. I, I'm scared. Let, let's find out how it come out. So let's finish printing this out, slice it, then we'll actually tape it together and we'll press simple easy steps you guys. So everything is done and got something made up. So this is the two pieces right here. So this is how they look at this moment. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut this piece down because I'm gonna lay this one on top and then we're gonna press it. Now, because I'm using a 15 by 15 heat press, I will be turning this around with two presses. You can also run this through your cutting machine and have your cut machine literally cut it. That's probably easier for some people. Or you, when you cut it, I do recommend probably going over the design just a little bit, just to make sure there's no white pieces. But remember, with sublimation, the white does not show anyways. So now we got our heat transfer tape. Sorry about y'all, the kids playing around. Oh my goodness, y'all don't ever just lose the tape and it's like, oh my gosh, what just happened? That's me all the time. So I'm gonna tape this right on side. So I'm gonna leave like some extra tape off because that top piece is gonna go off on that piece. If you get that. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that. So now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the top piece that I did slice and I'm gonna lay it on top. So let me bring you guys out just in case you do not see all the way. Now I remind you this design is mirrored already. I wanna make sure it's as even as I could get it. And it's not crazy, but at the same time, you wanna make sure everything is lining up. Sometimes you gotta get close on that table. There we go. Just to make sure everything is lining up. Now this middle piece right here is not taped, but what I like to do is take a small piece. Oh goodness. 
and I'm just going to cut the small piece just to hold it. I don't want to be on my design. I just want to cut a tiny piece just to cover the white piece to make sure everything is holding because we are rotating this. So I just want to hold it. Now that is it. What I'm also going to do is go in the back. Hold it like this. So we have the design. So in total, this is 14 by 14. Yes, this design is very pretty. I'm gonna give you a nice close up. You see where I sliced it at and pieced it together. You can see that line right there. So I want you to remember, when you sublimate in, the white does not show. Do not stress about this, you guys. Here we go. All right, now let's go get the mat. This mat is heavy, okay. All right. Ooh, y'all see my new um, cutting mat that I got in? All right. So this mat is so heavy. So in total, this mat is 30 inches by 47 inches long, and it's 100% polyester, so it should sub. Now it was folded, so I believe it's already centered right in the middle. It's gonna take a lot of tape. Now, when you are doing sublimation, remember your design is mirrored already. So when you press it, you just going straight down. Only thing I do want to do is make sure this design is like not on crooked or anything. All right, let's go get some tape. My heat press is at 407 and I'll be doing 60 seconds on both presses. Now this is gonna require a lot of tape. Oh goodness. Because I do not want no ghosting. So we gotta use as much tape as we need to. I'm okay with that. The mats is not cheap, depending on what size you get. So when I was in there, I see they had at least two different sizes that I noticed. So this one was roughly about probably $30, I believe. 30 or 29 something like that at the taxes probably $30 now they had another size I forgot that size I if it comes out good I will go back and go get the size that <laughs> the smaller one but because this is going to a school I just wanted to make sure now after I tape it I will take this loose and just make sure it is like holding on as good as possible because it was rolled up so Find an opening. So I just kind of want to make sure everything is pressed down. Try to get, you know, no ghosting if I can. So I'm trying to make sure it's as tight as it can be. And I'm gonna at least do probably medium to heavy pressure. Okay, that one I can't find, so let's go ahead. Spring out this old one that I used to have. I'm using as much tape as I need to, like I just said. I do not care how much tape I have to use. I actually think I do like the green one better than this. I don't know. And at the same time, I'm pressing down on the design just to make sure it is sticking and it is, you know, not that much openness to it. tape this piece I know y'all probably looking like why are you using so much tape first off this mat ain't cheap so I'm gonna use as much as I need to the tape by five six bucks the mat is like 30 shipping more expensive driving expensive so 
Yep, if I have to use this whole roll, I will. All right, let's take it to the heat press. Trying to make sure everything is down. All right, let's take it. Okay. Now, about this thing movement, I will say, probably get a cardboard underneath next time. Next time. But you know what? We're trying something new. But next time, if it come out good, get a cardboard and put underneath just like you'll do an all over shirt. Because, honey, this thing does. Um, now it's got some shifting into it. Trying to see how I want to do it to where. If I press it. All right, let's go ahead and get some paper. I'm gonna get some parchment paper for this. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get a couple pieces. Some tape is lifting, that's okay. It's okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably go like this so that way I can hold it. Also trying to make sure the design is in here. Okay. Medium to high pressure is what we're doing. So I'm gonna get some heat gloves because I just feel like this thing is gonna be hot. Um, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. So we, let's get our heat gloves ready. Cause we're gonna rotate this whole entire thing. All right, so I'm pressing each side for 60 seconds, just to be sure, and I did 407. Just added the extra little bit, just, just to be sure um, to cover all my bases. Time to rotate. All right. Ooh, I see steam coming off. Trying to do it at the same time while I'm not taking anything off. Pull this thing high. Okay, some part can't on. It's okay. Tape is loose and that's okay. It's okay. I'm going to just retape it down. I'm going to reposition it and put my paper on top and I'm going to repress it. Alrighty, let's see. I hope this came out good. Oh my goodness, I hope so. Alright. I'm just gonna stay on just a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm scared. Alright. Um, let's get it to the mat. I mean, I'm gonna have to put it on the floor because I don't want this mat on top of my mat. It's very hot. So we're gonna put it on the floor and we'll get to it. So let's get it off the heat press from underneath everything. Ooh, that thing is hot. It's hot. All right. Okay. I see some color. All right, y'all, so. Parking paper. All right. Oh, this thing is hot. Hmm. I hope it's not cricket. It look like it shift. Oh man, it do need another little press. Did it shift, y'all? It look like it may have shift too. I don't know. Uh, it need another little press in the middle. Okay. 
रहे हैं All right, it definitely did shift when I rotate it, but it does sublimate very well. It did shift though. I can see right here where it did shift, but it did take to sublimation. So I will order another one and I will redo it. I know I probably mess around. I probably have to just tape it while it's underneath the heat press. And matter of fact, I believe I brought another one. So we're gonna see how the other one come out. Um, yeah, it shifted literally right here, so I won't be able, I won't like sell this to a customer because this part shifted. But it's okay, at well, least we know that it does something made very well. And it's hot. So we are done. I had a second mat and I redid it and it came out good. Yes, do you see the colors? So the mats from Home Depot, yes, 100% polyester. You could supplement on it, came out amazing, and I do love it. I hope the customer love it too. These mats are heavy, so it's time to pack this thing up and ship it out. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This thing is heavy. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of bird.